Welcome to IOTA. The backbone of IOT is here. Was that pretty good? That was pretty good. So, IOTA, welcome to my All About IOTA video. Um, this is my opinion on IOTA. This is not to be taken as investment advice. So, there you go. IOTA, if you haven't heard of it before, I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell up front in case you just want to leave the video immediately. IOTA uses not a blockchain, but something called a Tangle network to store information as well as provide free machine-to-machine -machine payments. So IOTA is basically like three things in one. If you've come here because you've seen IOTA on CoinMarketCap and you're like, why is this thing ranked number five? I've never heard of this before. Well, you'd be correct. IOTA is a new player. It has new technology. <clears throat> it actually has a lot of differences from uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all these other types of things. It probably is more like Ethereum than anything else, which accounts for its rise and you know why it's sitting here at number five, number five as of August 18th, 2017, when this video is being made. So IOTA is, like I said, it has a Tangle technology to it doesn't use a traditional blockchain it's gonna explain more here I'm basically just going through the website this is nothing special um, you can do this on your own I'm just gonna kind of walk you through in case you have some questions what this is so IOTA is developed around the Internet of Things think of your thermostat your Fitbit a temperature sensor um, you know water sprinkler timer your car it, it could be a number of devices so as you can see here, what it's showing you here is you have an internet gateway. Um, so this is a Nissan Kwashashi Kwai or something. Um, sends three mega iotas to on-street parking. So that's the car sending sending um, money directly to the parking meter. So in this particular one is talking about five megawatts of energy going to the grid. This is an electric car charging that's going to cost six mega iotas for you know for charging a Tesla Model Three. This is a storage center doing data storage. So from this point to this point, all paying the data storage center, basically, you know, machine to machine, uh, grocery store to a cooling factory, ordering a new cooling element from the factory. Uh, this particular one says, you know, Fitbit data for a bicycle for something. So you can kind of see what IOTA is going for here. If you can think of Star Trek or any kind of you know very futuristic movie where things and payments happen automatically, you don't have to pull out a Visa card, you don't have to think about it. IOTA is trying to be on the forefront of that type of a of an of an economic ecosystem, so you can do anything and pay for things without having to pull out a Visa card or something else. Now today that's not really possible because we have. Uh, we have to do a Visa card, or we have to pull out our phone, or something. But maybe there'll be facial recognition later on, which um, some of the wallet technologies actually have built in. I know Monaco has a facial recognition as part of its part of its service. So that's what IOTA is basically trying to do. It's also acting as a ledger of things, which is you know kind of the second tier of its technology. What it's doing is it's trying to automate. This machine, this machine economy and the Tangle ledger it's able to settle tra transactions on that ledger with zero fees which is also cool because pretty much every other ecosystem requires some kind of a fee so IOTA is really trying to make it simple to do like like micro coin payments if you think about it if you're gonna if you're gonna park in the in you know if you're gonna park in downtown Phoenix where I am it's gonna cost you about 75 cents if you don't happen to have 75 cents on you and, and the parking meter has something you know that can use IOTA, then you can pay for it right then and there with your smartphone, which you're going to have 99% of the time on you. And with no transaction fee, it makes it a really low barrier to entry. So they're really trying to get, get this in on the ground floor. Um, not, not to mention, um, they mentioned here about storing data from sensors and dat data loggers securely and verified on the ledger so if you're trying to get you know you can get smart grid information stored on the ledger from all of these sensors and it can almost act as a database and if you think about it in terms of a database and in terms of its tangle infrastructure which I think we're going to get to here next 
um, it can become very powerful because if you can take the data off of your servers and store it on this ledger, on this Tangle ledger, then you can access this information at any time. You don't have to worry about the data being corrupted. Or you don't have to worry about the data going away due to a server failure. So, hey, I'm right here. So here it talks about the Tangle. Um, the Tangle is a different kind of a different kind of a blockchain. So I'm just going to read read the paragraph verbatim because it's going to say it better than I can. The main innovation behind IOTA is the Tangle, a revolutionary new blockless distributed ledger which is scalable, lightweight, and for the first time ever makes it possible to transfer value without any fees. Contrary to today's blockchain, consensus is no longer decoupled but instead is an intrinsic part of the system leading to decentralized and self-regulating peer-to-peer network. Read the white paper. So you can do that if you want to, but basically what this is saying is that the Tangle um, author, you know, basically authorize and they double check each other's work. So the blockchain is similar, but it doesn't it doesn't do it to the extent that Tangle does. What the Tangle does is it just it's everywhere, it's everything, and the blockchain doesn't quite work in that way. The blockchain is really kind of one block to the next block to the next block. The Tangle is it's a tangle of data so as you can see that you know via the the little graph here you're not going from one block to the next to the next it can do any block at any time okay so say if you wanted to reference one block it can just reference that block so microtransactions this is what I'm talking about earlier with the microtransactions there's no fees associated with IOTA so unlike Ethereum or Bitcoin or some of these other things you can actually make these micropayments with no fees, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. So again, if you want to pay that parking meter, it's going to be basically free, because it will be free. Um, transfer data through the Tangle. This is another core feature of IOTA. Like I was talking about before, it's going to transfer this information through the Tangle. It'll even store it so you can refer back to it later. So. And I'm I'm actually going through the development of IOTA. So when I get when I get through that even a little bit, I I've just barely touched it. I will go through a little bit more of this data transfer and payments, and hopefully it'll go ahead and make a little more sense. Um, some of these other things I thought were really cool, like voting. I think you know voting is really cool because everyone's concerned with e-voting and um, you know Russia hacking the United States and things of that nature. Well, you really can't hack IOTA due to the tangle because everything's all over the place and you're going to have to you know you're going to have to hack millions of computers and I'm sure that's the same with a lot of other types of uh, cryptocurrencies and and blockchains but this is just a little bit different because of the tangle so mass messaging uh this is pretty much where you you get lost in the tangle <laughs> so if you send a message from over here and someone picks it up from over here they're going to be like, oh, it came from this node, this node, this node, this node, this node. Well, it's going to have to figure out what nodes it runs through. And from what it looks like, those are all encrypted. And you really can't tell what path you take through the tangle. So, and they're calling, oh, another thing here. They're calling it quantum proof. Um, I've just begun looking into this, but there is a potential breakdown with cryptocurrencies with quantum computing. Now, you probably haven't heard much about quantum computing because China and the USA don't want you to know that they're working on it. Probably have it working pretty decently and know everything about us. So if this is truly quantum proof, then we kind of have pr privacy back for the next 10 or 15 or 20, 30 years, depending on how quantum proof it is. And you know the tangle, if IOTA is, is proven to be a very, uh, a very secure source of information holding, this is really going to really going to take hold within businesses, societies, and governments. So everything is a service, and this is where they talk about their, um, they talk about their, um, like proof of ownership, you know, prove who possesses ownership of the item. So, you know, they're saying here you can rent things out. I guess they're trying to say you can be the Craigslist of rentals if you want to. Um, I don't know much about that. Obviously, this blockchain technology is moving extraordinarily fast, and so the actual actual applications are going to be really known over the next five to ten years. I think this is really future looking. But if you could go on, if you can go on some service, hey, I want to rent a tool, and it has a, just a list of all these tools, and you can just rent it on the blockchain, and you can pay through the blockchain. 
you can go and get it and come back and if it's not returned in a certain period of time then you know you're charged automatically um, pretty cool so anything that needs a scalable ledger they're saying here you know we don't know what's gonna happen um, you probably don't even either but we sure as hell don't so that's pretty it and then I think down here is the uh, footer so they have a slack channel they have a forum they have a blog all are pretty decent none are great none are great so let's get out of here I want to show you their reddit channel their subreddit 12,003 readers is their subreddit which is pretty good and seeing as you know they're like I said they're number five on uh, coin market cap they definitely definitely are gonna be here for quite a while um, Iota is Iota's website is awful I don't think it's awful I think it's pretty cool actually so you know check out this reddit uh, if you don't know already reddit is a fantastic information kind of store some of its crap some of its not it's kind of up to you to decipher that but um, reddit is really good to kind of see how many people are following these coins as you look through these smaller market cap coins you're gonna to start to see some only have a couple hundred of followers Iota is at 12,000 which is pretty good um, I also want to show you Iota's chart real quick here um, let's go to their daily chart Iota's daily chart is really fascinating from a technical perspective so just so you know these black bars are selling bars these are the red bars the white volume bars are the green bars from a technical perspective it broke out and I don't count this wick up here as a bar by the way I, I'm sticking to these two highs so I'm calling IOTA calling into breaking into all-time highs up here at about 62 you know tested up here at a dollar ten it's resting in here at about 90 cents I think long term this has a lot of room to run um, and it will I think IOTA is one of the technologies that will make up the blockchain if not IOTA then the, then the tangle itself as you can see they have their finger in so many parts so many parts of the ecosystem it can do so many things that something's gonna take hold whether it's the microtransactions the data transferring or they use it for voting mass messaging um, you know these are just examples actually these aren't even the different things they do but you have the tangle you have the microtransactions that are free of charge you also have the data storage on the network too I think one of those three things if not more than those um, or combination of those are going to be very useful in the future so that's IOTA I hope you enjoyed the video um, I'll talk to you next time have a good one